Hi YouTube, this is Andrew. A while back I did a video on Mox Principle and uh, I, uh, I'm going to revisit the topic. Um, I actually did a game on it called the Astrophysics Playground and basically um, the whole thought experiment was how would Mox Principle operate if it did operate in this universe? Um, and my best guess was that there was uh, something called the symmetry of angular momentum. So that uh, the angular momentum of an object spinning in one direction is equal to the universe, the whole universe spinning around um, its angular momentum in the opposite direction. And uh, the, the question I have is why doesn't that explain already explain the expansion of the universe. Why do we need something like dark energy? And uh, the, the more I got to thinking about it, um, I, I, uh, I developed this uh, game called the Astrophysics Playground, where you play with the gravity constant and Mox constant. And uh, uh, Basically, it's it's operating on this this uh, symmetry of angular momentum that uh, the rotations are what is driving the expansion. And the way that works is, uh, say you have a spinning neutron star. Now, this spinning neutron star, relative to itself, it votes that it is fixed, and uh, and it votes that the it is the background universe, the whole universe. Uh, not in its rotational frame, is rotating around it. And uh, the background universe uh, receives this vote and receives a centripetal acceleration as if it is rotating around. And uh, the basic idea is if you have enough rotating frames of reference, um, you can create an expansion um, like the expansion of the universe. And uh, I modeled it um, as best as I could uh, think up of it in this uh, astrophysics playground where I modified the constants so that I can see the interplay of the two forces uh, better. And uh, there is a strong appeal to this um, because uh, the way that uh, it works, I mean, it's a centripetal acceleration. It, leads to the kind of like inflation expansion that uh, we typically see but uh, like with uh, the universe I mean it's the same kind of expansion um, but uh, the problem with it is that it uh, for distances as long large as uh, 14 billion light years uh, the moment of inertia of the background stars and galaxies are so great that uh, basically the angular velocity is practically zero. And it's as if uh, there is no Mach's principle um, relating to our own universe. And uh, like, I just, uh, I wasn't able to figure out uh, how it would work, but um, I, I have a hypothesis or a prediction uh, that rogue stars uh, rotating, uh, that rogue stars are not hypervelocity stars. They're not uh, ejected from the center of our galaxy. Um, that they're actually uh, subvelocity stars. That they're not uh, rotating as fast around our galaxy as the stars in that rotational frame are. And relative to the stars, they are voting that this rogue star is rotating around it. And even though it's uh, fixed, um, it, uh, it receives a centripetal acceleration as if it is rotating around the galaxy. And that is why they're being ejected radially out from as if the center of the galaxy, when in reality they can come from anywhere in the galaxy. And uh, they're ejected by this relative um, rotation. They're, they're not, uh, they're, receiving a centripetal acceleration from the relative uh, rotation of all stars in that rotational frame. And uh, 
so I made this astrophysics playground uh, to play with this idea, and uh, so I'm I'm kind of uh, stuck with this. Um, this is as far as I've gotten. Um, I wasn't able to figure out um, why it would appear that local uh, frames of reference are more significant than background ones. Um, that's the problem with Mach's principle. Basically, that the background stars are so far away, their moment of inertia is so immense that uh, that it's as if uh, rotational frames are absolute. It, it's as if there is no Mach's principle. Basically, when you get to to distances as great as 14 billion light years. Um, but um, for, for this idea to work, uh, there has to be some other uh, thing introduced to it. Um, I will uh, link my paper um, and uh, a link to the astrophysics playground so you can play around with it. Um, but if you have any ideas about this, um, please uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I, uh, I spent a great deal of time uh, working on this, and uh, I'm at a dead end, basically. I, I don't know where to go from here. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good day.